Most complex design problems involving short duration, high pressure loads generally require the use of equally complex FEA solving methods like explicit dynamics. These problems generally simulate severe loading conditions and material failure from events such as impact, blast loading, and crash testing, and even some manufacturing simulations such as metal forging and sheet metal pressing. Recently, Autodesk added explicit dynamics and explicit quasi-static solving capabilities to Inventor Nastran, allowing for the simulation of realistic, high-pressure loads. The nature of the mesh is crucial, as always, but the balance between computation time and accuracy of results takes on added importance in explicit dynamics problems. In this short video, we will go over some meshing best practices specific to explicit solving. Before you begin setting up and solving the problem, it is always recommended that you simplify the geometry as much as possible, use symmetry when possible, and identify an area of interest to focus on. It is also a good idea to sometimes split surfaces, especially on large parts, to be able to use multiple mesh sizes. While defining the mesh for any nonlinear analysis, including explicit analyses, always use linear order elements for maximum accuracy and faster solving. Click the settings button to control refinement ratios, element growth rate, and tolerances. I'm using the mesh control option to refine the mesh at the region of impact. Mesh controls allow you to modify the mesh at localized regions and control the mesh either by points, surfaces, faces, or parts. Refining the mesh at the impact regions enables greater result accuracy and better behavior prediction. The local mesh size here is much smaller than the global size initially specified. High pressure, short duration loading events typically lead to significant physical deformations in the body, even causing the body to fracture or break. To visualize this behavior, you can enable element deletion based on criteria like negative volume and principal strain, among others. When set up correctly, explicit analyses can be very rewarding, providing valuable insights into the behavior of the design and the material with accurate results and compelling visuals.